we call it quantum nod because nod, N-A-A-D, is the science of that sound that literally allows you to silence the brain so that you can experience the direction of the distortion and find the openings into the other dimensions. And in those other dimensions, you're not governed by the forces of gravity, of electricity, of magnetism, even to the extent where some masterful yogis have not been governed by the most powerful of all the five forces, which is the, uh, the strong atomic. There's a weak atomic, which holds molecules together, and there's a strong atomic, which holds atoms together. Okay. You, can, you can separate molecules, but they have to use the big collider to separate atoms. As a matter of fact, all of this information about 95% and about the, time, the miniature black holes is coming out of the CERN Collider. They took it offline for a couple of years and now it's come back. It's, it's 16 times more powerful than it was two years ago when they took it offline to, to enhance it. Yogis throughout the ages have been able to overcome gravity they can walk on water, they can, they can fly, but they've also been able to overcome the strong atomic, which is the force that holds the atom together, and they can disintegrate and reintegrate. They can disintegrate here, reintegrate there. If you want a, a really great book, it was written by a map in 1894. It's called The Life and Teachings of the Masters of the Far East. And it's a five volume book set. And it's, it was written by a man by the name of Spalding. And the publishing company Devors, D E V O R S S, which is now located right here in Marina del Rey. It was first located, it was a, I think it was a, uh, a Church of Unity or Science of Mind, one of the two. I think it was Unity Church uh, was the original publisher. But he didn't publish it. He wrote it in 1894. He wrote his journals in 1894, but it wasn't published until 1920 because he was afraid to publish it because it's so outrageous. You read this thing and you'll go, okay, nice story. <laughs> but he had nothing to gain from publishing it. And, and I've talked to the people at Devores, and I've talked to the people that actually went through all that. It's a book that my family discovered in the 1920s, and it was part of their indoctrination. So the idea that we can disintegrate and reintegrate, we can bilocate, not as densely as we do as a single location, but as we could divide our, we could divide our atoms in half and be in two places, just half is present enough present that we would create enough noise in our presence so that it would look like we're real. This is what lies beyond Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> the marketplace has us trapped. Because we're stuck in this thing that time is money. And everything you do from the time you're five years old, it's a funny thing. We spent the first five years learning how to walk and talk. We then go to school and they tell us to sit down and shut up. And we, spent, we spend from five years old until whenever we get out of that indoctrination, being reduced in the ability for us to understand that there is a massive amount of information and it can't come through any of these linear processes. And once we're indoctrinated into that, the only thing we're good for is to get a job and pay our bills. Every one of, everyone in here spends far more time at doing what they need to do 
to pay for what they want to do than they have doing what they were born to do. You see, if you have the capacity to operate in other dimensions, why would the measure of three dimensions, called the fourth dimension, time, and time being money, why would it limit you? I'm not saying you would go around, because they tried that for thousands of years, go around with a begging bowl. That wouldn't go over big. And all those are those Yoga West people, they just have that. <laughs> that, wouldn't, that wouldn't go over well. Why don't you just figure out how to manifest? Why are you stuck in the three-dimensional linear process? I'm not saying just walk away and challenge yourself. I'm saying get a program going within you that you are going to manifest everything you dream of while you're continuing to service the three-dimensional world. Don't walk away from the three-dimensional world. That's grisht ashram. But work out. We've got a few decades in which to master this because once mastered, we will become the most attractive and enchanting people anyway. In the old days, there were many, but one would get marketing presence. And they would design a religion around this one, and this one would be special. And the speciality of this one would be lauded and expanded and exploded and exaggerated and, until it just was impossible to match up. And that was the goal. 